I told him, stand up and Allah will protect you and Allah will be with you. He said, there were young girls, young daughters in those weddings. And this is what they're showing them. Women dressed indecently, dancing in weddings. How are we supposed to have blessings in our weddings when this is the state of our weddings? And those recordings will be brought back and shown in every single home. When the children watch those weddings, what are they going to think? Is this the Islam that you have? Is this the Islam that you're teaching us? And then those same people come back and complain. My daughter has run away from home. My son has run away from home. What was the Islam that you were teaching these children in your homes? You were not teaching the Islam of Sayyida Khadija radiallahu anha. You were not teaching the Islam of Sayyida Fatima radiallahu anha. You were not teaching the Islam of Sayyida Zainab radiallahu anha. You were not teaching the Islam of Sayyida Ruqayya, Sayyida Um Kulthum radiallahu anha. You were not teaching the Islam of Sayyida Aisha to your daughters. You were teaching the Islam of pop stars to your daughters. And this is the state that it's brought to your houses. And to our sons, we don't teach them the Islam of Sayyidina Al-Hassan and Sayyidina Al-Hussein. And we have screens in our homes, the, the size of cinema screens nowadays, plasma screens, 52 inch, 62 inch, in every single room. What are our children watching? Are they watching Islam? Our daughters are being allowed to watch indecency and then we accept our we expect our daughters to arise with the purity of Sayyida Fatima with the purity of Sayyida Khadija wake up Muslims people if we do not come back to the way of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the way his house was our houses will be destroyed our houses will be destroyed and Islam will leave our homes people it's our responsibility. If you have a television screen in your house, you have a responsibility to know what, what, what is my daughter watching? What is my son watching? People, we do not allow our children to leave our homes at night because of the dangers on the streets. But how can we allow our children to browse to television stations one after the other when we know the dangers that are awaiting us on those screens. One of our teachers, a great man of Allah, Sheikh Muhammad Iwab, Rahmatullahi Alayhi, he lived the last, about the last 30 years of his life in Madinatul Munawwara. He lived the last 30 years of his life in Madinatul Munawwara. When he was in Damascus, he was known as Asadul Manabir, the lion of the members of Damascus. We met him when he was over the age of 80 and when he used to roar on the member of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam it was indeed like a lion and he told us he said I said to the people when I was a young child and I used to play on the streets if I saw any other child with a bike I would come running home and say to my father dad can you buy me a bike like that Dad, can you buy me a bike like that? He said, because children, when they see other children with things, they want the same. He said, because it's human nature. When we see someone else with something, we want that also. The Sheikh said, imagine this now, that when a child sees a bike, he wants the same bike as that. What about when a child sees haram in front of him? in the security of his home on a screen that his father has put up for him do you think that child will not want what's going on in that haram the child will want exactly that and then we become worried because we can't we don't want to provide it why don't we want to provide it because it's haram didn't you know when you were fixing up your plasma screen in your child's bedroom that he's going to be watching haram and you know what I'm saying? I'm not exaggerating nothing. I'm not exaggerating nothing. There was a police investigation in Birmingham. 